The ACE avionics system features four display units capable of presenting the pilot with all the information pertinent to flight. The display system contains multiple levels of redundancy, preserving many advanced features even in the event of a display failure. The data on the displays are fed from two independent Advanced Graphic Modules, or AGMs. By default, AGM-1 provides data for the pilot's PFD and the upper MFD, while AGM-2 provides data for the co-pilot's PFD and the lower MFD. A display reversion control panel, located below the MFC, controls the four displays. The control panel has six knobs. Each of the four display units has a corresponding knob, and the two center knobs control flood and panel lighting. During normal operation, the knobs are used to adjust the brightness to the corresponding display. To turn off a display, turn the knob counterclockwise until it clicks. The PFD knobs have an additional concentric or outer knob that permits the pilot to change the AGM source, which is used in the event of an AGM failure. The ACE avionics system displays information sent from the graphics modules, just like your computer monitor. This makes it easy to recognize the failure mode. A fully functional display is capable of detecting an AGM failure and displaying a red X. A malfunctioning display is receiving information from the AGM, but is not able to display the information correctly or at all. If a display malfunctions or is damaged, the pilot must indicate to the avionics system that the display has failed. This is done by turning off the affected display. When a display is turned off, the aircraft will automatically reconfigure to the next most logical display format. In this scenario, the pilot's PFD has failed, and the ACE avionics system has reconfigured the screens so that the upper MFD is replaced with the PFD. If this happened in flight, the autopilot would remain engaged and the aircraft would continue to fly normally. When an MFD is being used to display a PFD, like in this example, the remaining MFD reconfigures to show the system summary page on the bottom left of the display. The MFD display can be further configured as desired by the pilot. Pressing the Format button associated with the MFD cycles through the different MFD pages. If both middle displays fail and are turned off, the composite display is shown on PFD1. The composite mode includes a CAS message window. In addition, a compressed system summary will be displayed. The system's data, displayed on the 1 6th window, can be changed using the page button. Pilots should also note that when a reversion mode is active, synthetic vision is automatically turned off. For specific failure scenarios and the resulting display reversion format, refer to the Honeywell Pilot's Guide. An AGM failure is very different from a failure of a display unit and should be properly recognized by the pilot. If an AGM fails, the associated display unit will still be working normally. However, no data will be displayed. As a result, a red X will be displayed on the units that are being fed by the failed AGM. The red X indicates that the display unit is functioning. Since two DUs failing at the same time is very unlikely, the presence of two displays with red X's may be an indication of an AGM failure. In this example, the red X's on the pilot's PFD and upper MFD are an indication that AGM-1 has failed. The appropriate abnormal checklist will direct the pilot to turn the PFD reversion knob from normal, which is AGM-1, to AGM-2. Doing so will provide the pilot's PFD with information from AGM-2. An AGM is only capable of generating data for two different screens at one time. In this case, the additional PFD image is a duplicate image. Because of this, the associated MFD still displays a red X and must be turned off. The examples in this video are for familiarization purposes only. The appropriate checklist must be followed during an emergency or an abnormality. For more information, refer to the Honeywell Pilot's Guide.